So I worked with a fellow named Jim at a packaging company in Connecticut. And when he decided to move to Western Mass, he actually changed the arc of my life by convincing me to move to Western Mass with him. And by living in Western Mass, I met Jenny. I've had a really fantastic life. But one of the things that Jim taught me that I use all the time, when I was a young plant manager, had 120 people in the Teamsters, I had to fire my first person and I had never done it before and I was really nervous and I didn't feel good about it at all. And I went to Jim and I said, Jim, I just don't know how to do it. I feel really bad. He said, well, the good news is, is that you feel bad. Because if you ever feel good about firing somebody, you're in the wrong line of work. So let me give you some advice. First, do you, does the person know what's wrong? What's wrong with their behavior? What's wrong with their competency? What's wrong with their work? I said, yes. Have you given them a chance to cure? Yes, he said, this is what you do. Get someone to be with you to handle sort of the administrative side and then use this phrase. He said, you come in, you sit down, don't apologize, don't say we like you, any of that stuff, say these words. I've given it careful consideration and I think it's in the best interest of both parties if we part company at this time. The person you say that to will say something. I don't know what it is, you don't know what it is. When they say something, you say these words. I've given it careful consideration and I think it's in the best interest of both parties that we part company at this time. From then on, you really just need to be a broken record. It's not a time for a debate, it's a time to get the person out. It's really tough to fire folks and I hope you don't have to do it often, but if you do, I think you'll find that technique works. Good luck. Work on your business. Stay in touch.